I wanted to take a quick second to explain how three-way switches work. Now you don't need to know this to be able to install the, the electrical. You can just follow the diagrams and follow the instructions, but sometimes I think it's helpful to understand how things are working. Now I've, I've got a little setup here to help explain the concept. I promise I'm going to fire my props team as, as soon as I'm done here, but uh, let's, let's pretend this pipe represents a hot wire. Now in a conventional or, or in a 14-2 wire, you've got two wires plus the ground. The ground and the common, the white wire and the, and the copper wire inside the sheath is going to be common or, or consistent with all my examples. So I'm just going to focus on the hot wire. So we're going to pretend that this is the black wire and it's the hot wire. Now in a two-way switch, the switch functions to, it acts to either stop the power or let the power pass through. So if I, let's pretend this is the switch and if, if this is on the, on the hot wire, it's it's stopping the flow of, of electricity. So this is a two-way switch and right now we've got the switch in the off position. So power comes in, power is terminated here, and the light is off. We flip the switch, power goes through the cable, gets to the light, and the light turns on. Really simple. That's how a, that's how a two-way switch works. It either stops the power or lets the power go through. Now if we were to take two two-way switches, let's say we wanted to control a single light with two switches, you might say, okay, we'll, we'll use two switches. Well, if you control, have two switches, once you turn this first one off, there's, regardless if this one is on or off, power is not flowing through this. So no matter what you do with the switch, it's not gonna be able to turn the switch on. It's not gonna be able to turn the light on. And so, and if you turn that one on, you can, you can turn the power on and off with this one, but it really just doesn't, it really doesn't act for anything. The only thing this provides is it might be used in some kind of safety scenario where you wanted both switches. Both switches had to be on for the light to turn on. We're talking about home wiring. We're not talking about missile defense. So it's more than likely that's not going to be a scenario that you want, you want in your house. So how a 14-3 or, or how a three-way switch works is it has two hots in it. So now we've got two hot lines running through the power. And the switch, instead of terminating the power, it just switches the hot, it just switches the flow of power from one hot line to the next. So let's go ahead and turn both of these switches in the down position. Now we've got power that can go through the one hot line and it gets to the light, and so the light turns on. Well, if we switched either one of these switches, if we switched this switch, power can't get through this line, through this hot line, and power can't get through this hot line. So now the light turns off. Now if we switch the other switch, power can't get through this hot line, but it can get through this one, so the power, the light turns back on. If we switch this one, you can, you can play with this different scenarios, but it's a nice little easy way for you to control um, a light with two different switches. So we've got special switches that don't terminate the power. These are three-way switches. They instead alternate between two hots, and we've got special wire, 14-3, that has, that has two hots in it so that we can, we can have this scenario.